How's it going? I'm Adam. Today we're going to put together one of these uh, Dakota cribs made by Carter's. Anyways, if you're putting one of these cribs together, uh, congratulations. I mean, you're expecting a child or there will be a child in your family, I assume, uh, extended family. So we're on baby number four. This will be the fourth time we put a crib like this together. Not the specific one, but they all, it's all kind of the same. So we're going to throw this thing together for you guys and... Uh, any problems we run into along the way, we'll be sure to address that to make it as easy as possible for you. So just uh, hang out with us for a little bit. I'm going to get everything set up and uh, you can take the time to go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button because we definitely appreciate that. And uh, it's kind of like why we're doing this. And uh, yeah, so let's get to it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get this box opened up. we got a pack of hardware here. Here's your little tip, okay? We're not going to use this Allen key that comes with this. We're going to cheat. We're going to use cordless impact. And there's some screws in here, so we'll be using a drill for that too. So if you don't have one of these, now's the time to say, hey, babe, you know, I watched a video on putting that crib together. And the only way I'm going to be able to do it without any problems is if I run and go get a... Uh, a drill and impact combo. I'll be right back. Okay, I am time traveling from the future and I forgot to mention we are using a four millimeter socket here if you wanna do the uh, cheat with the impact or even use a ratchet wrench. You don't even have to use an impact. All right, as we're gonna get started now, I'm just gonna go ahead and remind you guys that page five and page six of this manual uh, is gonna tell you all of the parts and then page seven and eight is going to be the different kinds of hardware that you're going to use. So make sure you pay attention, you know, to the fact that some of these have duplicates and some of them don't. And there are five different fasteners that are different lengths. So don't be putting no H4 on H1 because it ain't going to work. All right. First, we're going to grab this part over here. That's the main, it's like the biggest piece you can find. should have an E somewhere on it. I think it's going to be... This guy. It's not the biggest piece, sorry. It's one of the end pieces though. And we're gonna lay this thing down with these drawer guides facing up, and we're gonna put five of those wooden dowels in there that are labeled H9. Now I've actually cut the top of this plastic so I can get these things out. I know on the bottom of this page, this little sheet, there's perforation so you can pop the cardboard out, but then you got to flip it over to see what it's labeled as. And I'm not doing that. I'm just going to cut the plastic. So we're going to get five of these. We're going to stick them in the ends of this. We should have one, two, three. Get my camera angle right. All right. One here, two, three, four, five, like so. Next, we're gonna use this little thing here. It's got an H on it. Don't get it confused with G. Make sure you find that H because they are kind of mirror images of each other. Um, we're gonna pop that in where the little uh, dowels line up. So then we're gonna take two of these H5 bolts here, the only two that are in here. We're gonna take these, put some of these washers on them, which are labeled H10. And we're gonna thread that in there and we're gonna screw that down. Put one here, one here. Start threading them first. If anybody is putting this together and you maybe don't do this a lot, don't just, we are not fastening lug wrench, uh, uh, lug nuts on, a, on a, uh, a tire or whatever, a wheel. This is a crib, it's completely different. So tight, but not too tight. Okay, for step three, we're using these wooden dowels again. It's gonna be the H9 dowels, and you are going to be in these exact locations. So if the drawing seems a little funny to you, I'm gonna go slow as I can, just so you can pause and make sure they're all in the right spot. Okay, so this is not very complicated at all. It's just gonna be kind of tricky using both of my hands and getting my camera angle right. But uh, for step number four, we're combining a washer and the H1 fastener for these. And the way these cribs often work and all kinds of furniture you buy, um, there's this little lug here that's threaded. 
and this is going to going to screw in here like so so these cavities that you see on this piece this is number n or letter n this is going to sit in here like so and you're going to turn where this opening that threaded area is towards uh, this way because that's where the fastener is going to go so n should be here m and then the k's are the same part but make sure they line up with the slot here because you're going to have a piece that's going to go into there before we put the other side like i said just get it threaded with your hand and now don't tighten these down all the way because we want to make sure we got a little bit of ability to kind of move this and the reason why is because we're going to have to put a whole another section on the other side okay so still can flex it a little bit i can move it side to side all right that's good enough so we're going to do that on the k up here the k down here and then there's going to be an m there so for the next step which would be step five it's pretty much the same thing we just did we're going to take a h2 this time and we're going to put one of those little washers on there and then we're going to use the same little i don't even know what you call this the thing you screw into the circle thing you screw into with a hole in it and we're going to make sure that the groove for this piece number uh labeled p is going to you're going to have two grooves actually you're going to have one that's going to go this way and this one is going to go that way but you see your dowel will stick in there and then in this hole again from the underside we'll put this bolt and this thing in here okay for step six we're just adding these two pieces here that are labeled l and then we're adding this piece down here which is labeled o um you just put a couple of little pins down in there one of them stuck in the bottom of this that's why you can't see it and then that gets us to step seven we're going to take this piece labeled q and there is a longer notch on one side make sure that is facing up next we're going to add that middle piece we should have a sticker on it that says r for all you pirates out there all right and then finally the bottom panel is labeled s now this is very easy you've got two notches on this one that's because it goes face down like so and that's it now moving on to step number eight should look like the diagram so you've got this one one here one here one there two there and one there and then we're going to take the big panel we should have a letter d on it lay it down just like so and we're going to line all those little dowels up with the holes on this piece okay so you should have everything worked in there there can be some gaps here or there because we haven't technically tightened anything down and the other side is still basically finger tight but step 10 is using the correct length fasteners is going to split step 10 and 11 up to try to keep you from confusing H1 and H2, but you're basically doing the same thing. Okay, congratulations. If you made it this far, you have basically built yourself a changing table with three drawers. And I guess there's some kind of storage back here too, so awesome. Good job. Okay, now F is a little tricky because if you just look at the diagram, you can totally not understand what it's trying to tell you. But there is a cross section here and the key thing it gives away are these three dots, okay? So this opening here is where our H1 bolt will go into. And let's not forget, it's supposed to have a washer on it. And then it's gonna tie into this cylinder holy phillips head screwy thingy that we're going to put on the inside of j so make sure you get these three lined up i mean i don't know how it you would do it but it is kind of confusing so all 
All right, so I believe we are on step 14 now. This is exactly how the drawing looks. So we're gonna attach G to the left side of this here. We're gonna use some of these H3 bolts. You can see here, there's already a threaded insert put into the edges here. So we're gonna be using a bunch of those moving forward. And again, they give you a clue in the diagram of 14 that you're gonna have one, two, three pre-drilled holes here. So we flipped it upside down. And we'll take these bolts here and just thread them in, get them started. Okay, so for the next step, which would be step 15, we're going to take this big old honking thing and we're going to stick it right on our diaper changing table. And it's supposed to match up just like so. So we take the other H3 bolt, get that thing started there. And then there's another one down here. And now that we have both sides connected, we can tighten it up with our impact or you can go ahead and just tighten it with your Allen key. Okay, part 16, we're basically attaching uh, this uh, J piece that we did just a couple steps ago. There we go gonna have us hunt down piece number C next and that's gonna be this big huge end piece and we're gonna fasten C to piece G which is here and F which is here we're gonna do that using H4s all right so this is C and just so you know there's gonna be four holes on each side those are gonna to go towards the inside Step number 18, you're gonna take these little pieces that are H15, they're basically just little drawer hangers or shelf hangers, I'm sorry. Just look in here, you'll see them. They're all pretty much the same height. Well, they are the same height. We're doing this so that we can put in T, piece T. Uh, so T is gonna have this interesting double groove here. We saw that before, so we're gonna flip that that way. Just gonna come in at an angle. Should fit in here like that. All right, so if you've made it to step 19, you will be asking yourself, why the heck am I putting a bunch of screws in empty holes? They do nothing, they don't support nothing. Well, it's because initially you're gonna hang um, a spring, like the bed spring, bed spring, from this top one. See the top hole? But eventually you're going to be dropping it down because your baby's going to grow and it will start climbing out of its cage. So they put these screws in here to basically say, we're not liable for your baby sticking its pinky in there when it's like, you know, doing whatever. And then you sue us because you've got lacerations on your baby's pinky. So just put these screws in, kind of make them a little tight so they don't fall out. And then take them out when you, when you need to basically drop the spring down as your baby grows. All right, time for a bed spring. So we've got these little levers here, these little, and you're gonna flick all those out. And then we're gonna go thread in the rest of the H6 fasteners. Okay, last step pretty much to get the crib part together is 21. Should be four of these H1s left. Throw you a couple of washers on there. And you're gonna have pretty much two on each side. Zip those in. Get in there, guy. Okay, so last step is number 21, or well, not the last step, but to getting the crib together. Uh, don't forget there is two of these dowels down here. Remember these wooden pins we put in? So make sure that this thing sits on top of those, like so. 
or you're never going to get your bolt holes to line up. So now we take the rest of our H4 fasteners and you should have two on each side. Okay, just get those in and we can tighten it up. So 22 is basically the same thing three times. So here's an X. And then we need a Y. Boom, we got a Y. Okay, and we're going to find a V, which are the nice pretty drawer faces. And the V is going to sit here. We're going to throw an X on one side and a Y on the other. They've already got some countersunk holes here for the screws. And so you're going to do two H12s here. They're going to screw right into these teeny tiny pre-drilled holes on V. And then on the other side, you're gonna use an X. And it's gonna be the same thing. Uh, mind you, the wheels are gonna to be to the back, okay? And they're gonna to be to the outside. Come in with your drill or screwdriver. And then of course, it's gonna want you to put one of these inserts in. These things are the same color both sides, so it's kinda of hard to mess that up. Put that in the slot. And then you're going to come with the W on the back. And same thing. You get some counter suck holes here, some pre drilled holes in W. You get some of these H12s and zip them in. You're going to do this three times, and the drawers are built, but then we're going to put the knobs on them. So let's knock these out, and then I'll show you that. All right, so the last step we've got three knobs to put on these drawers. You get a screw that goes into the knob. So the knob goes on the front and the screw goes on the back here. Just like that, lift up, drawers are in, piece of cake. Okay, the, really the last step is to put this little pad in here to the diaper changing station. And you will notice that there is a, uh, there's a strap in your little hardware kit. And honestly, a lot of baby stuff comes with these straps, um, especially like dressers and baby changing tables. Um, and these two screws here, well this hole, this pre-drilled hole here, is what you're gonna use to use this. And you basically are strapping it to the wall. So a baby, if they're climbing you know, up the thing, you know, they're crawling around and they wanna decide to pull up on something, they're not gonna pull this thing over. But unless your baby's about 50 pounds, it's not pulling this thing over, so. We haven't ever installed any of these. We're on the fourth kit now. And uh, so I'm just not gonna worry about that. If you feel led to do that, then there is a step in the thing to do that. So awesome. If you made it this far, I am happy for you. You did it. The logro. Voy it. Good job. Appreciate y'all hanging out with us. We are done. All right, well, we finished the crib a few days ago and now, uh, Mom has gotten everything in from Amazon and all that, and everything's all nice and decorated, so everything turned out pretty good. Good job, Mama. Another shout out to Uncle Ronnie for all the bows. We definitely appreciate that. Uh, we definitely appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Uh, if you know anybody who bought this crib or maybe is expecting, um, you know, we would definitely hope you would share this with them so that way they can knock this project out and hopefully not have any issues. And uh, again, congratulations if you're watching this video, you're having a baby or somebody is. And that's a thing that should always be celebrated. So we thank you again for hanging out with us. Please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. It means a lot to us. It's kind of why we're doing this. And um, you guys take care and have a good Thanksgiving. We'll see you next time.